Hey guys, it's Lori. So I just wanted to come in and share some things with you guys. I've been, since I've been home more often, I've been doing some um, decluttering of some of my junk drawers. Yes, that was plural, drawers. I have several, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm not even recording it because it's like, no way. Because sometimes I'll watch videos of people doing their decluttering and it'll say that I'm doing my junk drawer today and it is an absolute disaster. So, you know, this is embarrassing and on and on. And then they show it and it's like, what? Why is that embarrassing? Because that looks better than my organized drawer, <laughs> you know? But it, my junk drawers, guys, I'm serious, they are bad. I have four drawers over here. In between my countertop and my stove, there's four drawers. There's not a lot of room in between there, so there's not enough room to open it like all the way. You can pull the drawers out all the way without moving my stove. Let's put it that way. Um, the third one down was stuck. Like it would not open. No matter what we tried, we could not get that drawer to open for years. It's like, I don't know what's even in it. I don't remember. I just know that it's a junk drawer. I, I don't know why, but all of a sudden, this was a long time ago, all of a sudden it decided it was just going to open. I don't even remember who tried to open it or why, but somebody opened it. It's like, whoa, that drawer just like opened right up. <laughs> but anyway, that was one of the drawers that I tackled today. And I couldn't believe some of the stuff that was in it. Okay, in the back of it, like I said, it doesn't open all the way. So anytime we ever did get it open, you could only get to the stuff that was right in front. Like if I recall the things that were in that, because I've done the, the first three drawers. And I think in the third one was like a bunch of old, like uh, electrical adapters that don't even have the grounding prong on it or anything like really old stuff. I'm getting rid of most of it. I'm putting a lot of the stuff in for Goodwill, like an old candy tin, like one of those metal tin things that says Nestle on it and pencils, tons of pencils and some little school supply things, stuff like that. And in the back of it, I found this old Mother Goose book. See the pages? It's really old. But see if I can see a date on it really quick. There's the back. <laughs> It's really hard to believe that this this is for kids because, and it doesn't have anything in it. Like this belongs to, it doesn't say anything, it's blank. So I don't know if it like used to be my mom's or what. Copyright 1953 by Whitman Publishing Company. So that's what it is. It's from 1953. So it's very old and I was just kind of skimming through it and I was reading from it and Today is me and John's anniversary. 22 years. Yes, 22 years. I can't believe it. Where did the time go? But today's our anniversary and he worked day shift, came home, sat, we sat and talked and had our coffee like we always do for about an hour or so and he's already in bed because he had, it's, it's 523 right now and he's probably asleep right now. He has to go back in for third shift tonight. I don't like that very well because he's going to be around a whole new crowd of people than he's usually with and that's bad enough to begin with. Anyways, I'm not getting into all that. I'm trying to tell you about this Mother Goose book. <laughs> I was reading from it. Like this, the little things in it are short. And then I gave the book to him and I said, all right, you pick some things to read to me now. That can be our anniversary. <laughs> our little thing to do on our anniversary. We're reading from a weird Mother Goose book that's really old. So I took... <laughs> I took some video of it, which he didn't care for at first, but then he knew I was recording him and he kept reading. So I'll show that to you right now. The little priest of Felton, the little priest of Felton. He killed a mouse within his house and near a one to help him. Stop recording me. <laughs> little maiden, better Tari, Terry. Time enough next year to marry, must be Terry. What the hell's Terry mean? <laughs> Hearts may change and so may fancy. Wait a little longer, Nancy. <laughs> bless you, bless you, Bumblebee. 
say when will your wedding be? If it be tomorrow day, take your wings and fly away. Give my horse a ton of hay and put him in the stable and do your best the living live long day to make him comfortable. <laughs> well, I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just saying some of this stuff is really weird. It's like, I don't even understand that. It makes no sense to me. Some of the words, I don't even know what they mean. But anyways, that was one of the things that I found a really old mother goose book. Here's another old thing I found. Some of you guys might not even know what this is, but I'll bet you some of you people do. Do you know what these are? Tell me in the comments below. I mean, I'm going to tell you, but tell me in the comments below if you already know what these are. These are old floppy disks from a computer. You used to put it into the tower of the computer. There was a slot for this to go in and this carries information on it. So... I have no clue if there's even anything on these. I don't even know what I'm gonna probably just throw them in the garbage to be honest, but anyway, I just wanted to show them to you guys. And another thing that I found was an old cassette player Walkman. <laughs> does anybody remember these? It does have a cassette tape in it and it does work. I put batteries in it and it does work. See, there's a cassette tape and it's Michael Bolton. I've never owned a Michael Bolton anything so I have no idea whose it was it, I, I don't know whose this was if this was John's or what I don't know but it does work I put batteries in it you plug the headphones in it does work so there's that one and I also found this one and this one used to be mine okay I, I, I don't know I was thinking about keeping it but then I put batteries in it and the cassette part doesn't work I thought I should keep this then that way, since we do still have some cassettes, we can listen and see what's on them. But it actually, the cassette part just doesn't work. So, but it also has, this one has the AM FM radio, which actually does work. And I can plug this one into my little speakers that I have here because they just plug in like a headphone. So I'll show you guys. Can you hear it? <laughs> You're gonna play hell trying to get stations in without an antenna. But this, this is the AM. Put it over on FM. If you do get a channel in, oh, I better not play it for very long. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get a copyright strike. But yeah, <laughs> so it actually does work. The, the radio does. But anyways, I'm just going to donate it to Goodwill. Whoops, both of them. Which I have a box down here that's pretty much full of stuff. And there's one last thing that I found in that drawer. First, let me tell you, I've lived in this house for 31 years. 31, yeah. It'll be 32 years in September. So I've lived here for a little over 31 years. And when we first moved in, it had old wooden doors for the front and back door. They've since been replaced. But these were my original house keys to this house. These skeleton keys right here. So, and I found them and I know that's what it is. I remember the keychain, and I mean, it's skeleton keys. So I know that's what it's from. And one of them is actually for the bathroom door. One was for the front door, one was for the back door and one was for the bathroom door. So we still have the same bathroom door, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, skeleton keys. I think they're cool. And you know what it reminds me of? The movie. Have you guys seen the movie Lock and Key on Netflix? If not, check it out. It is, it, oh, it's, it's not a movie. Wait, it's a series. Yeah, it's a series. It is really good. I liked it a lot. So check it out. And then you'll understand why I say that these remind me of that show lock and key l-o-c-k-e because it's their last name and key so yeah it's a pretty good show if you watch it let me know or if you've already seen it let me know this is handmade and i'm sure it came from my grandma's craft shop but anyways yeah i just wanted to share with you guys some things i found in my junk drawer one of them <laughs> 
And yeah, that's it. So I thought it was kind of fun finding this stuff. And I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.